Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm so happy to be joining you tonight. I'm going to plug my phone in here and it didn't beep. Hang on while I go under to investigate the problem. Well, maybe it doesn't beep when it's running. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hi Lori. Welcome. Oh, I just touched my face again, right? <laughs> I haven't been any place, I promise. But I, it's really hard not to touch your face. Hi, you guys. Hi, Susan. How is everybody tonight? We have a happy Tuesday going on here in Menasha, Wisconsin. Terry, I got your message. Terry sent me a message today and said, I just got done with work. Don't start your live until I get home. And I said, okay. <laughs> I'm assuming you're home now. Hi, Mickey, Angie, Bonnie, Jennifer. Jennifer from, Jennifer from Alberta. What's your temperature up there, Jennifer? I think it's like probably in the 40s here today. I don't even know. It's not too bad outside. Lisa, Judy's here. Welcome. Oh, I'm going to pull myself up on, on my screen here as long as it just popped up and notified me that I was live. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, what's your temperature down in Austin, Texas? We got Sue from Keele, Wisconsin. Sue, tell us what the temperature is in Wisconsin. We don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Peggy's here. Anne-Marie, welcome. Jay is here. The, I'm one of the few highlights of your day. I love you, Jay. <laughs> Sharon just popped in, too. So I had, um, a, again, a very busy day. Um, hi, Cindy. I know that um, a lot of you may be at home, which is unusual for you, and getting bored. I assure you, I am not. I Maybe I'm getting a little restless that I don't like, I, that I can't go out. Oh, and Lisa says it's 80 in Austin. I'm so jealous. So jealous. I love the heat and the sunshine, and we've had none. It's another gloomy day here. No sunshine for us. Um... Hang on, my hands are really dry. I'm gonna put some lotion on. 55 in Eau Claire, so I assume that's probably what it is here too. It might not be as warm here because we get kind of a lake effect over here. It's 52 in Durham, North Carolina. Yeah. How much did you miss, Gilmore? Next to nothing. We're just talking about the weather. You're fine. And the fact that Terry messaged me and told me she just got done with work and not to start my Facebook Live till she got home. <laughs> I remember she told me yesterday she would be, um, she had to work till three. So she hoped I didn't do my Facebook Live before three. And Terry, you sent me Jiffy Popcorn, Sour Patches, Dr. Pepper, a beautiful card, some, um, what do they call those cloth things, microfiber cloths, and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a day. <laughs> oh, the sun finally came out in Oregon, Diana says. That's awesome. Connie. How are you, Connie? I know you're up in the UP, Marquette, I believe. Connie's the one who sent me the flowers, and I have to tell you, they're starting to like fall off. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to lose them pretty soon, but I just want to keep them there, just maybe a couple more days. We'll see. <laughs> we got Jane from Illinois. Welcome, Jane, and Pat's watching. So I got a lot. Oh, and Charlene's making spaghetti sauce. So Charlene, that's exactly what I had for a early dinner, late lunch today was spaghetti. Remember Steve made spaghetti yesterday. And um, oh my gosh, it was so good. But I have to tell you, like when I eat my meal, not just a cup of yogurt or a snack or something, but when I eat my meal, I get so tired afterwards. Like, if I put my head down on my desk, I could literally go to sleep. Is that some type of condition? Because I don't like it. I just know that after I eat a meal, I'm going to be like, Ugh. So, instead of doing the uh thing, I'm like, get your butt in there and figure out your Facebook Live. Hi, Kathy. Connie. Cindy just came in, too. Diane. Connie says it's cold. Um... Yeah, so anyways, I got really tired and I thought, nope, 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 you got to keep going, keep going. People are counting on me. <laughs> Diana's having Mongolian beef. I don't know that I've ever had that. That sounds delicious. Terry's making pepper steak. We got Teresa popping in here. Thank you guys so much for joining me for my, I think it's, this is day 16 of Facebook Live. Like, this is a full-on marathon, and we are killing it. We are doing Facebook Lives like a boss. <laughs> yeah. So, I got some, a lot of, 
interesting messages today and um, I have been super busy answering lots of emails lots of messages I'm getting text messages instant messages emails phone calls you name it it's been going on today but guess what today is it is the last day of celebration and I know from 16 celebrations in my career that it's always going to be a busy day on the last day of celebration. I sent out emails last night. I don't know if I've ever been able to accomplish that before. But I sent out emails last night reminding people that is today was the last day of celebration because it never fails. I will get one, two, five people that tomorrow will come to me and say, Hey, I tried to order that. Um, Oh my God, I can't even think. I tried to order that flowering foil specialty paper and it won't let me. It's part of celebration and it ends today. Or I wanted that little mini trimmer with my starter kit. Will that still come? Nope, not tomorrow it won't, but it comes today. So um, if you order today, it will come. But yeah, there's and, and it breaks my heart because people didn't realize that today was the last day to get those free celebration items with their orders. So. I have been telling everybody constantly on all my social media platforms, today is the last day of um, celebration. And Terry says she tried to order the pom-poms and champagne jewels. Nope, um, they are both, the pom-poms are supposed to be in today. I think the champagne jewels are April 13th, that week they're coming in. I tried to order the pom-poms today too and they're not in the warehouse yet. We've had some delays due to the whole coronavirus thing and shipping and um, not too many delays, but I know those two items, Terry, are on the list that we are expecting delays due to, the, due to everything that's going on right now. They're coming, so hold out. <laughs> Just know that they're coming and you will be able to add them to an order soon. Um, yeah, and that's the other thing Connie's talking about. If you have not joined my team, whether you want to be a discount shopper or a business builder, today's the last day to get this stuff that I've been talking to you about for three months. Three months. Three months. I feel like a broken record. Mini trimmer. Only available with your starter kit. Today's the last day. Diana's drinking rum and coke. You know what? I thought when I was in the kitchen, I was filling up my, guess what I'm drinking? Strawberry lemonade. I know I'm boring. When I was filling this up, Diana, I was thinking, um, today's the last day of celebration. I've been running my tail off and not really running. I've been sitting here. My fingers have been really busy typing and I've been voice texting a lot, but, um, Today's the last day of celebration and I've been super busy and I thought, you know, I think I should go have an old fashioned tomorrow to celebrate. And then I thought, there's no place to go. <laughs> like, there's no place that's going to serve me an old fashioned that has essential workers. So I'm thinking I can look up an old fashioned recipe online and my husband can make me one. But I don't think we have any Southern comfort. Because I don't usually drink at home. I know I talk about, you know, drinking this and going out for that. And everybody probably thinks I'm just a lush. But I really don't drink much at all. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Wendy, are you sitting on your keyboard? Because you've got dollar signs all over the place. So, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I think you said something on your... Your ads got stuck. It looked like dollar signs to me, and I love dollar signs. Don't get me wrong. I'm all about dollar signs. <laughs> I love money. Anyways, um, yeah, and don't forget, you get a 20% discount. So you get to order any stamp set of your choice. Make it an expensive one because it's a free one. This is on top of everything else. You get this sampler pack of beautiful paper, and you get the mini trimmer when you join my team. Whether you want to be a discount shopper or a business builder, Stamp It Up doesn't care. I don't discriminate at all. Most of my team members are discount shoppers. So um, today's the last day to get these three items added onto your kit. You get to choose $125 in any product that you want. This is completely customizable. You'll get a paper pumpkin kit. People have been asking me, do we get the March paper pumpkin kit? No, you don't. Um, it's a paper pumpkin kit that Stampin' Up! had made up years ago to be able to put in with starter kits. So it's a wonderful paper pumpkin kit, don't get me wrong, 
but um, it's not the March kit. So I just want people to be very clear. There's no false advertising going on here. I see, did Cindy just say that she was um, making maple syrup? I think you're done making maple syrup, right, Cindy? I remember seeing that. Cindy is my friend from my hometown of Nilesville, and um, her and her husband just built a sugar shack, which is kind of funny, right? Sugar shack. And um, they make maple syrup. They tap trees, and she's been working her tail off for I don't know how many weeks, she said that she got to take a nap, I think, yesterday because they're finally done making syrup. And oh my Lord, we love maple syrup. When my dad was alive, um, things were much different because lots of people were coming to my mom and dad's house. Everybody and all the brothers and sisters and the kids. And I don't know how many gallons of maple syrup my mom and dad would buy every year and go through because breakfast... I'm a huge breakfast person. Like, we do breakfast. We do homemade buttermilk pancakes. We do homemade waffles. None of those ego things, people. We don't roll like that in the Northwoods. <laughs> we do um, French toast. It was always something with maple syrup. And so I'm a big fan of maple syrup. And I actually have some Texas toast in the kitchen. I just told Haley today that let me know when you want me to make French toast and sausage again because we have everything to do it. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so back to Cindy. I got off on a tangent, but back to Cindy. Cindy, I'm glad your maple syrup season is over. It looks delicious, and I can't wait to have some. Then, what else is happening? We have a winner from watching last night. You guys know I'm doing a drawing every day. I have a whole box of stuff that I can give away. And... Um, I put, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube, everybody goes into a drawing as long as you leave a comment. So if you're new to me and you're just lurking in the shadows, you announce yourself. You can say, hi, Kelly, I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina, or wherever you're from. Don't lie. <laughs> no, I don't care if you lie or not. But you need to make a comment so that I know you've been here. And, um, oh, there you go. Somebody just said the Sugar Shack was a place for ladies to go and have cocktails years ago and enjoy the entertainment. I like that. I think here in Wisconsin we have some Sugar Shacks and they're, they're strip clubs. So, not so classy. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not judging. Um, anyways, if you, if you leave a comment, you are left in a, um, you're put into a drawing to win stuff. And I'm trying to talk and read at the same time. And, I'm not good at that. Wendy says, are there any leftover March paper pumpkins? Okay, Wendy, there may be refill kits that you can get. Um, once March is done, once April, oh, no, let me start over. You order your paper pumpkin by the 10th of every month or you subscribe monthly. Once March 10th was over, you can't get the March kit anymore. That's the deal with paper pumpkin. And while it makes me sad, it is the rule. I understand it. And um, so you have to be like, it's better to just be a loyal subscriber. Plus I provide everybody with 15 to 20 different alternate ideas using that paper pumpkin kit. So let's say you get the paper pumpkin kit and it has some cards in it and you're not that enthused about the cards. We'll show you 15 to 20 different things to do with the contents of your kit. So there's always gonna be something that you're gonna like. And so Paper Pumpkin doesn't go backwards. It only goes forward. Um, there could be some refills left. I ordered a refill. I don't know where it went, but, um, oh, here it is. I can tell you that um, my kit still hasn't come. I did contact Stampin' Up! and tell them that it definitely got lost. UPS lost it. This is what a refill kit looks like. It's got all the consumables in it for you to make the cards again, but the stamp set came with the original kit, and you can only order a refill kit if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. There's some type of computer magic that tells them that you are not a subscriber, they won't even let you order the refills. So, be a subscriber, don't be disappointed. There's no crying in stamping, I'm telling you. I love Paper Pumpkin. Oh, and Diane says her refill came last night. Marsha ordered a refill for hers, too. I did, too. I ordered the refill because I never got my kit. And I figured, well, I use Kathy Miller's. I can give her my refill for the contents of hers that I used to do my blog hop, right? And Mary says, whenever I don't get the paper pumpkin, I regret it. 
Hang on. Oh, shoot. I just totally lost your message. I don't want to mess around too much with my... There it is. Regret it after I see the things you make with it. I know. That's why you should just subscribe, Mary. No more disappointment. <laughs> All right. So what happened today? Haley was here. She was a little frustrated today. She um, didn't get much accomplished. She was There was a lot of groaning. And ugh, she said that she felt very... Today. I don't even know what she called it. It may be possible I can't say exactly what she said. <gasps> this is a family show. No, I don't know what she said. But um, I, I asked her, I said, are you wearing tight clothes today? And she goes, yeah, kind of. And I'm like, that will always make you feel worse, right? I know that because when I had uh, gained all my weight, anytime I wore pants or a shirt that were too tight for me, I just felt like, ugh, horrible, right? So anyways, there was a lot of groaning going on today. She is hoping, she said the baby's been moving like crazy. So she's hoping that baby's going to kick that whatever and break her water and she's going to have that baby. I don't think it's going to happen, but whatever, right? I feel bad for her. Connie says, oh, poor Haley. I know, right? Um, I remember those last few weeks and they were, you know, a little uncomfortable. You got you're growing a kid inside of you for Pete's sakes. So anyways... I was reading through your guys' comments, and I got the biggest chuckle out of how many of you shaved your legs after I talked about that. So, I want to know how many people tweezed their eyebrows and other random hairs on their face after I talked about that. Because I may have some type of a movement going here. <laughs> I am going to get you guys cleaned up so that when this CQ 2020 thing is over, we are going to be unleashed to the public and we're going to be ready to rock it. That's what I'm going with. I am going to be ready to be out in public. Don't let yourself go because it's going to be a lot of work to get yourself back. Hi, Rose. Hi, Janine. I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm happy to see you on here. Diane just signed up for Paper Pumpkin today. Totally worth it. I agree. Connie says, yeah, you don't want to be known as the hairy beast in 352. <laughs> And Beth's going to shave her legs tomorrow. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Body shaved her legs too. <sighs> Melinda shaved or tweezed, but she didn't shave. You get that razor out, sister. I want those legs smooth. That's what I want. <laughs> so, and then I wanted to thank everybody for all the dip recipes you shared. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, on my Facebook page, I shared the Henning dip recipe. It's a chip dip recipe that we make all the time. And I made some the other day and I took a picture of it and thought I'd share it with you guys because it's so good, easiest thing in the world to make. And then I asked, what's your favorite dip? There's like a hundred dip recipes under that post. So if you're looking for it, it's gonna be on my page here. Don't go there right now because you need to watch me right now. We have some things to make. But after we're done, go to my page and scroll down until you see a bowl of chip dip with the corn chips in the back. And then in the comments under that, there's a gazillion chip recipes. And I'm so excited because I love to try new dip recipes. So thank you, everybody. And then I wanted to let you guys know that if you're local here in my area, Mims is opening back up. And Mims is just a little hole-in-the-wall diner in downtown Menasha. It's been there for Ever. Like, I don't even know how many years. They don't accept credit cards. <laughs> it's cash or check. It's so cute there. And they don't even have, I don't think they even serve food on real plates. They come in the little paper, like, french fried basket things. Um, but they're opening back up for carryout. And we will be supporting Mims because they are the home of the best butter burger in the world. I hope Bev's not watching because she's my... Optavia coach. I will eat a bur butter burger and it's like the biggest artery clogger ever. <laughs> it's so delicious. So we're going to help support them. Steve told me that today. We will be getting a carry out from Mims this week. Like I'm good, right? So I also heard from Stampin' Up! today. Um, you guys know that I earn an incentive trip every year through my um, hard work as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. <laughs> Peggy says she plucks daily. <laughs> Thank you. I love that. Thanks for that. Hi, Michael. Um, anyways, I heard from Stampin' Up! today, and they are telling us that our Maui trip scheduled for July is still on. 
I was getting a little worried that they were going to, you know, call it off, but they're waiting until at least June to say no. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm loving that they're waiting until the last possible moment if they have to crush our dreams. <laughs> um, we're scheduled to go to Maui. I think we're scheduled to go on July 7th. And the only reason that I remember that is because it's my birthday. So if you guys want to know my birthday, it's July 7th. Start making your cards now. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Lynn is asking about the butter burger is such a Midwest thing. I know, right? Well, Culver's has butter burgers. They're really good, but not like Mims. Like Mims has this nice heated bun and they have big buns, like big buns on their burgers. And they like take like a half a stick of butter and splotch it on the top. And then it just runs over the sides. Like I said, it is a heart attack in a basket. There's no doubt about it, but it's really good. And I eat one a year. Yeah, um, you can do something else. You don't have to have a butter burger when you go there. And I've been there more than once a year, but yeah. My mom's been there. I took her there for lunch one day. She loved it. Actually, we've been there several times with my mom when she comes to town. So, um, oh, who else has? I saw two people. Terry has a July 7th birthday. And somebody else, Helen, noted my July 7th birthday. Thank you, Helen. I'll be expecting my card and don't make it late. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, our Maui trip is still on. I'm really excited about that. I'm taking my stepdaughter, Stephanie. Last year, I took Anna to Greece. Haley has almost always come on all the trips with me, but she was getting married last year. Um, so I took Anna with me to Greece. And now this year, I'm going to be taking Haley with me to, uh, or Haley, Stephanie, my stepdaughter, Stephanie, to Hawaii. So I'm excited to be going on vacation with her. And um, I hope, do we have uh, Cynthia Motley on tonight? I hope Cynthia Motley is watching because I want to give a shout out to her husband, Tom. So some of the cute little messages I got today, these were hysterical. Um, Cynthia messaged me and first of all, she's on my team. So I was talking about Steve had to get me some soap today and he was grumbling about it, but he went and did it. He had to go out and get groceries. So I said, get me some soap. And then he got kind of cranky with me and like, dude, I'm running out of things. So, um, he had to go get me some soap. And when he got home, he was grumbling some more because the grocery store didn't have the kind of soap that I use. I am the last person in the world that uses bar soap in the shower. Like, who does that? He said. And um, Cindy was on, I was on my Facebook Live with my team, which by the way, if you join my team, we do a Facebook Live every Tuesday morning at 1030. And it's a question and answer session with me. So it's kind of fun. But um, so Cindy heard me talking to Steve as he came to the door while I was doing a Facebook Live about the soap. And she told me about her friend in Missouri that, um, came up with her own soap and, and, and started her own soap company called Sammy Soap. And she had a disabled or has a disabled son and she wanted to start a business so that her son would have some place to work. Like whose heart doesn't that touch? What a great mama. So she said, I think you'd really like Sammy Soap. And um, I ordered a bar today. So if anybody needs good soap, Sammy Soap, Kirkwood, Missouri, I believe. You can look it up online. That's what I did. I just did a Google for Sammy Soap, and there it was. But anyways, back to Tom Motley. So in this email, um, Cynthia told me that her husband likes to watch my videos with her, and he knows what pop it up on dimensionals means. He knows what DSP stands for, and he loves my tiara. And Tom, why wouldn't you? Tom is at home recovering from knee surgery. He's been off for 11 weeks. So we wish you a successful recovery with the knee surgery. I come from a long line of knee surgeries. My husband has had multiple surgeries on his knees. He just had his last one replaced, or his last one, like he has a few. No, he has two knees, and he had his second one replaced um, last year, I think. So we've run the gamut with problems with knees and and good knee surgery. So I hope yours is going well. Haley blew her ACL playing soccer in high school. So that was, I said I should have a family plan at the orthopedic surgeon for the knee stuff, right? Yeah, he, the knee surgeon, he didn't go for it. <laughs> they never do. 
Um, anyway, shout out to Tom for a speedy recovery. I hope your knee is doing well. Hi, Christine Bertram. Christine is one of my team members too. Um, there, Bonnie says she has bar soap too. In in all my bathrooms, I have this the the pumps with the foamy pumps from Bath and Body for the sinks. But I like bar soap, so that's what I'm going to continue to use. And now I have Sammy soap coming. I'm excited to try that. And I got the, I think I got the lavender oat fragrance, maybe. I don't remember. Anyways, I'll tell you all about it when it gets here. So today in the shower, what were my ponderings today in the shower? Gosh, I can't even hardly remember. I did take a shower today. I felt really good too. Like yesterday I didn't, and that's the first time in a long time I didn't shower. I feel really good today. Um, what did I think about in the shower today? Must have been a lie, I can't remember. Anyways, maybe I'll think of it later. Um, so, Terry came up with this brilliant idea. I don't know why I didn't think of it myself. Um, Terry Sampson. She said we need to have a little competition for when is that baby going to be born? What do you guys think? So when we're done with Facebook Live tonight, I am going to put up a post with a picture of Haley and her big baby belly. And I am going to um, have you guess underneath that picture. So you're just going to make a comment and you're going to guess what day the baby's going to be born, what time the baby's going to be born, and how much is that baby going to weigh? So we want to know what your thoughts are on Weedley's entrance into this crazy world right now. Um, no, we just want to know the date, the time, and the weight. Don't get carried away. <laughs> so we'll do that after Facebook Live is over. And whoever wins, whoever is closest, if we have any tiebreakers, we'll put them in a hat and draw them. But we'll have some type of a prize to celebrate my newest grandbaby. I thought that was kind of exciting. And then I want to give a shout out to June Franco because she also called me the other day and she's the one that told me um, she was a winner and when she heard her name on TV, um, her whole family like bursted out with, oh, mom just won. Oh. So shout out to June Franco because her kids get a kick of hearing her name on TV. So I had eight new team members join us today. If any of you are watching tonight, welcome to my team. I'm so glad that you joined. It has been an extremely busy day. I'm pretty excited because guess what came in the mail today? Yeah, by the dock. Look at all those cool images. This is the coolest stamp set. I can't believe that when I went to make you guys a card using this the other day, because I have one from... Kathy Miller, who's on here tonight, she designed it. Um, I thought I owned this bundle, but I didn't. I didn't own it at all. So it, it came, UPS came. I have my new Buy the Dock bundle. I've got my Dockside dies. Look at how cool those are. Let me open them because they're really, really neat. Like this is your ultimate outdoor man card bundle. Yeah, we've got several paddles. We've got two embossed paddles, too, where this cuts them and embosses them. We've got a frog that's jumping. We've got some grass. We have a frog outline. We have a boat outline. We have a dock. Here, it goes like this. Here's a bird on a pole, dock outline. We've got another, like, flying seagull. Seagulls aren't my favorite bird, but they still look pretty cool in this set. They're, like... Oh, I hope I don't get any hate mail. They're like rats with wings. Seagulls are dirty birds. <laughs> dirty birds. <laughs> Anyways, I don't wish them bad. I just don't like them. And they're annoying. So, we are going to be making a card with this By the Dock stamp set. And you're going to love it because it's a fun fold. And Kathy is one of my... Actually, Kathy is my very first recruit. She has been with me for 15 years and um, she is also the my partner. I do my um, card buffets with her and usually stamp camp events with her. She also helps me out a lot. She's the one that comes over and helps me do my kits. It's been wonderful. So, um, did I say who won? I don't think I did. 
<laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, so I put all the names in from YouTube and from Facebook. And Judith Sigler from Madison, Wisconsin, you are the winner of this Baker's Twine and Sequin combo pack. And I will get that out in the mail to you. Judith, I was super excited when I drew your name because Judith leaves me the funniest messages, whether it's on here, whether it's on YouTube, whether she's emailing me. She is a funny lady and she, I just so enjoy reading her comments on everything because I know it, I'm just going to get a chuckle out of it. So I'll have these in the mail to you tomorrow, Judith. And um, I think, are we ready to flip? Oh my gosh, you had to get that set because your youngest girl's nickname is Toad. Hmm. How does she like that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I would want to be called Toad. I'm sure there's some cute story behind it, right? Toad. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> okay, I am going to get everything set up here. Um, what is an Archon holder? Akron holder. Is that what it's called? Akron? I don't know. Um, it's actually the holder that holds my phone. So let me take down all my notes here. Remember yes, yesterday, I think I almost showed you my credit card number. That was brilliant, right? What's over there? Okay, no, nope, that's not a credit card number. Okay, let me show you. I'm going to show you what an Akron phone holder is. I'm going to unplug you here. You get a good look at my saggy chin. Okay, so here we go. Flip the camera around. This, oh shoot, it's not going to let me do that. Hang on. It got mad at me. Here we go. This right here is an Archon phone stand. Do you see that? Archon phone stand. That's what it is. And this is the thing that I put the phone in. And right now we're going to turn it down like this because now we're going to look at my desktop. Okay. So there you go. There is your Lesson on phone holders for making videos. Glad you asked, Terry. I'm sure there's a lot of other people that wanted to see that too. Okay, I'm gonna bring in my layers here. Hang on, I gotta make sure that my screen is scrolling so I can keep up with your comments. You guys, if I if I um if I miss any of your comments, please ask again at the end of the video. Get your fingers ready to do some fast typing, but I'll ask if any if anybody has any questions that I missed, okay? All right. I am what's Okay, I am going to bring you all of our layers. So first of all, we've got a layer here. This is Mossy Meadow, a five and a half by eight and a half. Now I love this kind of fold because while it is a fun fold, there's no need for a bunch of scoring and measuring at this point. You're going to fold it, and then you're going to fold it back. And when you fold your card for a wide card like this versus a tall, skinny card, you don't really have to score it if you don't want to. It will fold quite nicely this way. Okay, then I've got a scrap of vanilla and a scrap of mossy meadow. I've got a four by five and a quarter inch layer that's gonna go on the inside. I've got this layer, this is Sahara Sand, and this is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. We're actually going to emboss that in the Coastal Weave embossing folder. And I already have that done. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? I love, love, love this embossing folder. You could use either side, but it's very, very cool. And I thought this would look neat with, um, well, Kathy did because she designed this card. And it does look really neat with this whole bundle. Then we've got Mossy Meadow again. This is three and an eighth by four and a half. Another piece of Sahara Sand, two and seven eighths by four and a quarter. And these two layer together just like this. So we're going to get that done right now. And now my voice is going to get a little quieter because I'm going to sit down. I can't actually see your comments coming through my screen as I'm standing over it. I'm standing like up there because it's got it's too close for my glasses. And I know when I come down here and sit, you can't hear me as much. So maybe you might need to turn up your volume. Did you see what I did to this? Were you guys yelling at me? Kelly, you messed it up. This is this right here is why I love liquid glue. 
because you can slide it around really easily. Okay, we're gonna take the embossed layer, remember this was one and seven eighths by five and a quarter, and we're going to put this on this little panel right here. Again, this is a fun fold, quick and easy, one of the most common layouts for a fun fold, and I love it. Okay, then we have our inside layer. Make sure this is the right size, yep. I'm gonna bring in my mossy, well, you know what? I'm gonna bring in my early espresso ink, and here comes our stamp sets. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? So we're gonna take a brief intermission here. So, um, I just wanted to show you, I've got a lot of new stampers joining me lately with these videos because people are home with nothing to do, right? So if you're a new stamper, I wanted to show you, when you get your stamp sets that you order from me, they come um, die cut on this sheet of rubber and you just simply push all the rubber out and this was the one. You're gonna have all your bits and pieces. Then I peel the backing, this backing, off of this rubber and I lay it back in my case. This is just how I do it. There's no right or wrong. You can do whatever you wanna do. You own your own stamp set. But this is the way I find it works best. You peel these backings off and then you're gonna have some labels. One side of the labels, you can actually read what it says. The other side is where you have these peelable little labels that are the backing that's there's a slit on every single one that you can peel that off this is how I like to mount my stamps I like to peel those off and then I bring my stamp in and you want to make sure that you're getting it as close to perfect on here as possible push it down now if you got this off and it's like not on here perfectly, there's no taking the label off at this point. Don't do that, it doesn't work. You're just gonna have to deal with your mistake. But you peel that up and now these are sticky and that's what sticks to the acrylic blocks. So I just wanted to show for some new people that may have just gotten some of their first stamp sets in a long time. I've had a lot of people coming to me saying that um, they, used to stamp years ago and now they're picking it back up so and then when I get done with my stamps in order to get them off of my blocks because they are very very sticky I'm looking for my take your pick tool which has disappeared oh here it is I was gonna yell at Haley for it but she didn't take it I gave her her own I take my take your pick tool and I put it between the label and the acrylic blocks so that I can pull these off you don't want to just pull this rubber up because you'll rip the foam in there. So just be aware of that. Okay, so then when I'm done with my stamps, I take them off the blocks, the sticky side down, I put them right back in the case. Do I have any trouble with them sticking to the case and like not coming loose? Never. I have never had a problem with that. So um, that's how I do my stamps. Now, this tells me when I use that negative and put it in the back of my case here, this part, I can look in here and say, oh, I've got some stamps missing in here, right? That's why I do it, because I like to know if I'm missing a stamp, I need to go find that right now and figure out where it is and get it back in here. So that's how I do it. I just thought I'd let you guys know that since I got a new stamp set and I have so many new people. Um, just a little, just a little tutorial there. Okay, this part, uh, we're going to take this and we're going to add it to the side, and I'm putting quite a bit of glue on here. You guys see, I usually don't use this much glue. And I'm, I'm gonna put this, we're gonna center it right in the middle of your card. So same margins all the way around, all four sides. I'm gonna put that on there. Then, I need to grab our braided trim. And this is our braided burlap trim. This is part of the new Tropical Oasis suite. I love to be able to um, fray this out a little bit. That's the word I was looking for. I love to be able to fray that out. And I'm going to just cut this so I have about, I don't know, four inches or so. And then I'm gonna take it. These scraps that we have here are for some die cutting. So first of all, we're going to use the rectangle die, this one. It is 
one, two, three, number four in the rectangle stitch dies. We're gonna we're gonna die cut that, and then we're also going to take this die, which is number one, two, three, and do well get a bigger piece. But you're gonna die cut this also, and then we're gonna take this one, which is number six in this side if you guys if you guys number your stuff like this hang on for Pete's sakes okay Whew, get it together right okay this one and we're gonna die cut that on here and then I'm gonna grab the grassy stuff over here this is our grassy die we're gonna die cut that on here all right over to the big shot Doo -doo -doo -doo. and just by magic, we already have this done, but I lost my grass. That sounds like a personal problem. Here it comes. We have this and this. This is very vanilla, by the way, and mossy meadow. And here is our cute little grass. Look at that little cattail right there. Is that not adorable? It's adorable. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of stamping. First thing I'm going to do with my early espresso ink, I'm going to take this gorgeous sentiment here for you and I think that's really appropriate for right now if you have some men that are stuck at home and they're getting a little restless or you just want to let them know that you care this is going to be a great card for them let me bring this set in here again so you can see we've got some great sentiments happy birthday I'll always look up to you no matter how much I've grown thank you for making a difference in my life and here for you We've got the fish, the water, the boat, the oar, the dock, the frog, the bird, the grass, land. Amazing stamp set. I love the detail in this. It's just so, so cool. Okay. Hang on a second. I'm closing down some messages there. Whoops. Oh, shoot. I just screwed something up. Popping up on my screen. Okay, so now we're going to take this and we're going to add it to this layer. And this is from the nested shapes if you don't have something like this you can use a punch you can use whatever you might have but if you don't have those nested shapes consider getting them I think if you buy them in the stamp set right now you'll get a celebration item before it's all over today is the last chance but these are really nice I've been using these a lot and I even bought a second set so that I won't be without them when I have to send swap cards out to my um, helpers because that makes me crazy when all of a sudden I've sent something out to my helpers and I need it. Like I'm going, oh! So I actually bought another set of those. Hang on, I'm looking for dimensionals here. Here we go. Got things falling all over the place. And I'm having a hot flash now. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Okay, we're going to come back to this now. And I think what I'm going to do, you could leave this like this, but this is fairly thick. So I'm just going to cut it so I have two pieces. And then I'm going to put those two pieces right on the back here. This is exactly what Kathy did. And then you don't have that fold there. That's what I was kind of looking for. Keep these fairly close together. I just want to see what they look like on the front there. And I am going to... Just leave them stick out a little bit. I've got my glue here, or my glue, my tape, my crappy Amish tape. There we go, that's what I wanted. You can make them fray a little bit more. That's kind of cool looking. And then I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back. And I'm gonna put dimensionals right here, and right here. And I think that's going to do good. I don't want to put dimensionals on here because that's raised up quite a bit. And I think that'll make our card be goofy. But I do want my card to be, I want this layer to be very sturdy. So I'm kind of doing a little overkill with the dimensionals. But they're on the back of the bottom and this end over here. So that's important. Okay, here we go. We're going to stamp and we're going to color. Here is our beautiful dock, and I just love this stamp. Like, this made me drool, and that's why I was shocked that I didn't have this stamp set. I knew that I wanted it. So, you're going to have to pull this back a little bit so it'll fit on this layer. Let's see how well I did. Oh, I did really good. I want to make sure, I wanted to make sure I got my bird in there, but I didn't want to run off the other side over here, right? 
So now I'm going to bring, and that was my early espresso ink, and I really meant to do memento, so we'll see how the coloring goes. <laughs> I might have just blown it, folks. Um, now I've got my uh, balmy blue, and now I'm just going to put some waves in my lake. And it's okay that our lake is vanilla, okay? Don't worry about that. Once this card is done, you're going to see how very cool it looks. And I'm hoping that I can color over the ink in that post right there. We'll see. But you're just going to fill in as much as you would like to see here for the water. Oh, I got, oh, crud. We're going to start over. And we're going to actually use the right color. Hang on. You know me. Oh, I just dipped my card in the ink. It keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Do you guys ever have those days? It really has been a good day. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to whine about it. Okay, you should really use the Memento ink. I'm pretty sure you can color with early espresso, but I did mean to use Memento. We may be cutting a new layer shortly. <laughs> here we go again. I want to make sure I get that bird in here. I think we did okay. Now, I'm going to wash this stamp off because I can see that I'm getting edges because I had too much, too much ink on it. So, um, I'm going to see if I can just do one little, one little line. Let's see how well I can do that. Nope, I'm not going to mess with it. I just, I'm a little worried about stamping over this post, but I don't think you're going to see that. And I did want to just get some little um, waves in there. Kathy did such a nice job with her waves. Who knew this was the part that was going to stump me? Okay, I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Mickey is asking, Haley, are you the only child in your family? Haley is my only child. Yes, Steve has three older kids. From his first marriage and then Steve and I got married and we had Haley okay I think we got it you guys Stampin' Blend markers I brought in the light gray granite and that's what I'm gonna color my little bird my seagull my flying rat with wings <laughs> I hope I'm not offending anybody who loves seagulls that is certainly never my intent. Now, I just used my yellow to do the beak. You can do that if you want. You don't have to. The beak is pretty darn tiny. And now I've got my um, light soft suede and my dark soft suede. So I'm going to do a little shading with that. Come down here on the edges of my dock. And we'll see how good my coloring is. I know the card that Kathy made with this was actually for a demonstrator event in January that her and my other team member, Christine, put on. And it was fabulous. And I made the card that I have. I think I'm going to color that rope a little bit lighter. So we'll see how that goes. I wish I could, I know some people would like me to put my camera closer so you can see my coloring a little better. Can't really do that with Facebook Live. You can't zoom in and out. So this is what I've got so far. And now I'm just going to take and make some lines where Stampin' Up! has a little bit darker lines on this dock. Hopefully it's going to look really cool when I start blending. Okay, so that, that's kind of what I've done now. And oh, Diane says she's never heard that saying for a seagull before. <laughs> well, this is an educational program, also, Diane, so you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seagulls are like kind of 
diseasey like birds. I don't know. They dig in garbage and they're just annoying. And I get that they're trying to survive. Don't get me wrong. I understand. But they're like squirrels. They're gross too. Squirrels are disease carrying little varmints. They're cute and cu I love them. They're adorable, but eh. stay away from the squirrels. We had a squirrel in our house one time. It was just hysterical. We videotaped the whole thing. If you're friends with me, you can actually go see that way back, like, I don't know, three, four, five years ago on my Facebook page, my personal page, because it's pretty funny. Um, the squirrel tried to attack Steve, it jumped at him, and holy cow, it was a whole thing. We were screaming, Haley was screaming, everybody was screaming when it was all said and done. I was laying on the floor laughing my butt off. Okay, so using a different color on this string really didn't make any difference. So just go ahead and color it brown. I guess maybe if you colored it gray, it might matter. I don't know. Okay, so we have all of this done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this greenery with our um, cattail on here. Jude says there's lots of squirrels where they live. Well, there's not a lot of squirrels where my mom lives because my mom is going to be 75 years old here pretty soon and she has a loaded shotgun in her kitchen and there are no squirrels in her yard. And it is hysterical because I will be on the phone with my mom. Now you guys remember that I am from redneck country. Like I grew up out in the country. The roads are gravel. They don't have any pavement. And I'll be on the phone with my mom and all of a sudden she will say to me, hang on a second. And I know exactly what she's going to do. She will come back in a few minutes and I will have heard a muffled blast from a shotgun and she'll go, got him. <laughs> she is hysterical. But she does not let squirrels hang around her house because they'll get in the attic and chew up your, um, your wiring for stuff or get out in the sheds and chew up the wiring. They're very destructive. They're super duper little cute little things, right? But mm -mm. they do not last long. They better stay in the woods by my mom's house because she's going to have them. They'll be gone. Okay, so what do you guys think? So isn't that cool? Now the next thing we're going to do here is... <laughs> I'm glad you guys think that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, you, you remember, I grew up out in the country, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of redneck in me. I'm, you may think I'm all fancy and stuff with my beautiful nails. Oh, that's another thing I got an email about today from one of my team members. <laughs> Linda is a hysterical. And what did she say? I have to find it because I can't remember, but it was super funny. Let me find it here. L-I-N. Linda, Linda, here she comes. Come on, you can do it. It's loading. Okay, so we're going to put this on the front. I'll get back to that in just a second. You're going to put this on the front right up here. I want to see just a little bit of that embossed layer. And we want to make sure these are going to be in here far enough so that they're not interfering with our envelope. Now, this is why I kept those dimensionals low. I didn't want them to be interfering up here okay so if you keep them down here on the back of this you're gonna be a lot better off so today Linda said sorry Kelly had to chuckle to myself after seeing your pathetic nails this morning <laughs> I love I laughed and laughed and laughed she says here in Arizona they just got the stay-at-home order but nail salons are considered essential and I said I know right so it was pretty funny. I laughed. It was pretty cute. Okay, so here's our card. And then we've got here for you. Um, I don't know what greeting I want to put on the inside. But what I can tell you is I've lost my Medi, my Medi ink. I've lost my Mossy Meadow ink. Do you guys see it here? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I don't know if I want any greeting. I could put a Get Well in here. Um, you know, you could put any type of sentiment. You could use one of these sentiments in the set. I really like the font on thank you for making a difference in my life. But I don't know which man in my life I would send that to. And I'm not giving my husband any cards because, well, you know, he lives here and he can get cards anytime he wants. <laughs> I do give him a card once in a while. Don't get me wrong. But I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to... Maybe have a little frog. 
right? <laughs> How about if I try like stamping it with some ink? I'm gonna put a little frog right there and then I have all of this room to write. Now, if you wanted to, you could stamp some oars, some paddles in there. Oh, I know, I wanted to do this on my layer. Can, I wonder if I can still do that. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna try it. Hang on, we get, we're gonna make a modification. And I know Kathy probably would have done this on hers too, but she had to make sure that this was a very quick and easy card because there was like 70 people making it. So that makes a big difference how you design cards when you're designing for a big event like that. Like you have to be careful that they're not too time consuming, that nobody's ever gonna get done with them, right? I'm gonna bring this in here and color. The, I just thought this would look neat on that layer. What do you guys think? I, I like it. I'm gonna put this in here. See my, see my frog from before? It, it didn't work out. He's a goner. Frog legs. You know, I don't think I've ever had frog legs. I know somebody said they taste like chicken. Okay, and then I got this envelope, and I was wondering, what should I do with the envelope? Huh. I don't know. I think I'll stamp the frog on it again. How about that? We've got this. We've got this green ink out here. Oh great, look I gave him some ground. You guys know that's the bottom of my stamp because I rocked my stamp, but mm, he'll never know. <laughs> I wonder how this would do. I'm bringing in the ground now. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think so because this is going to be floating off into Never Never Land. That's not going to make me happy. Yeah, we'll just leave it with a frog and I'm going to say that the post office got a dirty mark on my envelope and nobody will ever know. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is by the dock and dockside dies. See what I did on my naughty finger? Yep. Okay. That's why we have baby wipes. These are Huggies. They're my favorite. Refreshing Clean Huggies is a local company here in Wisconsin. My husband has actually worked for Kimberly Clark. They own all the Huggies brands. Um, he didn't work for them. He was an independent contractor. But he worked at their plant. So what do you guys think? Do you like this? Oh, I don't even have you guys up on the screen anymore. I'm talking to myself here. Okay, there you are. Yeah, I think this is just so cool. I love, love, love this stamp set. And I can't wait to make, make more things with it. It's a great masculine set. If you know somebody who has a lake or maybe you know somebody who's always wanted to have a lake. <laughs> like, I lived on a lake one time and I wasn't too impressed. And I'll tell you why. More than you probably want to know. But you guys who live on lakes, tell me if I'm wrong. So when you live on a lake, you have a lot of spiders. And while I'm not freaked out by spiders, they're not my favorite thing, but they don't freak me out. When you have a lot of spiders, you have a lot of spider webs. And when you live on a lake, you have a lot of bugs. So what we found on our house when we lived on a lake is that your house is covered with spider webs that then all the little bugs and mosquitoes and gnats get caught in and your house always looks disgusting. And you have to clean it a lot on the outside. Like, it's bad enough to have to clean the inside of your house. But then you have to clean it on the outside. And I just did not care for that at all. It was not my thing. And then I don't have to worry about the lake, you know, rising and flooding my house. I, I know. I'm turning you over now. Um, I know that people who live on lakes, it looks like great fun. And it looks beautiful. And it's very serene. And I do, I do know that you love it. But what do you do about all the spider webs and the bugs? And then if you're here by us in Wisconsin, this is the only place I think in the world where this happens. We have Lake Winnebago, which is this huge lake, and it's just a few blocks from here. I ride my bike by it in the summer every day. But um, we have what's called lake flies, and the lake flies hatch in the spring, I think, like end of May, June. And they will literally cover the entire house like you can't even see it because there's lake flies covering it. And that goes on for, I don't know, a week or two. 
And the closer you live to the lake, the worse it is. We never hardly ever get just a few of those bugs here. They don't bite or anything, so, but they're really messy and dirty and they smell. One time we drove our car down the side of the lake coming home from someplace during um, lake fly season. That's what we call it here. And when we got home, we got out of the car and our car smelled like dead fish because it was plastered. It was black with lake flies, so it was really disgusting. Anyhow, yeah, see now, Yolanda is saying that she has never had that problem with spiders or bugs. And isn't that weird? That was my experience living on a lake is lots and lots of spiders, which made webs all over the you know, any place there was a corner on the outside of your house, there were spider webs. And lake spiders, like those long, skinny-legged ones, giant ones, too, they were creepy. And like I said, I, I don't freak out over spiders. I don't really like them or anything. But And then all the bugs get caught in all the spider webs, and your house was just filthy all the time. I didn't like it. Not at all. Yeah, so... um. I wanted to know if there was anything else I was supposed to tell you. I don't think so. Don't forget that we're going to do um, Guess the Baby. We're going to do the Baby Weedly Predictions. I think that's what I'm going to call it. We're going to do Weedly Predictions when I get done here. So um, that should be really fun. Yeah, Jackie says she hates love bugs. They're really nasty. I don't know what that is, but bugs are just kind of gross anyways, right? Yeah. Oh, they bite and draw blood. Well, they don't here. Lake flies do not bite, so we're okay. But they're just gross. It's it's icky. And um, make sure you check my blog. After we're done, I will get... I need to make some graphics first because we got to make this look really cool, right? This is my first grandbaby, and I need to have some cool graphics on a picture. So I'll do that, and we'll have the guesses to see what you guys... When you guys predict... Weedley's going to be born. How much she's going to weigh. We need a date and time and then wait. And if you guys have been following me, I've made several comments about weight with this baby. So we'll see if you can remember what I said. And if I were following me and I would just say that, that, oh, I've watched all of her videos, I would never remember what I said about weight. <laughs> so good luck with that. No hints. Oh, you know what else? I'm going to add to this too. We need a date, a time, a wait, and I want to know what you think Haley's going to name this baby because we don't know her first name yet. It's a girl. We know her middle name is going to be Lee. And Haley says, I hope Weed Lee comes tomorrow. <laughs> um, we know the middle name is Lee, and it's a girl. I want, what? what do you guys think? the baby's first name is going to be because Steve keeps like thinking of names and texting them to Haley to see if that's it. And some of the names he's coming up with just horrendous. But um, some of them he really means. And a lot of them he'll say like one time he said Olivia and I love that name. But Jared's got a niece named Olivia so I know they're not going to name their baby Olivia. Yeah, so... Um, is it niece? A cousin. It's not a niece. It's a cousin. She's so much younger than him, though. I always think he's the uncle, but he's really a cousin. So um, Mary's birthday is July 1st. That's Haley's birthday, too. And that was my dad's birthday. So they always celebrated together. What's her mother-in-law's name? Lori. Lori and Bill are Haley's in-laws. And, um, of course, you know me and Steve. I'm Kelly. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I hope you know who I am. <laughs> if not, you've been hitting the wine a little bit too much, people. So, um, I will be on again live tomorrow. I don't know why I wouldn't be. Kelly Lee, I don't think so, Bonnie. <laughs> um, but we're going to guess on a graphic. Oh, yeah. Um, somebody just asked if her due date is 420. That's why we call her Weed. And her middle name is going to be Lee. Because 420 is like National Weed Day or something. I don't know. I'm not up on all my marijuana stuff. But my husband told me. <laughs> okay, so I will be live. All, let's be serious now. Uh, yeah, Haley, you're going to spell it L-E-E, -E, right? L-E-E. -E. 
I'm pretty sure. Because, so, my mom's middle name is Lee, L-E-E. -E. My dad's middle name was Lee. Um, Jared's grandpa's name is Lee. So there's a lot of Lees, and that's where they came up with the Lee, that they can kind of um, be wonderful to everybody in that respect. How many kids does Sarah have? I think she has five. They're asking about Sarah Douglas. I'm pretty sure Sarah has five kids. And we know her oldest daughter that just got back from a mission. We met her in, where did we go, Haley? Thailand. Thailand. Her and Haley um, chatted a bit when we were in Thailand. We got to know her there in a wave pool or in a lazy river in Thailand. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah, so... Um, my husband's name is Lee. See, Sue, Haley's naming her baby after your husband. No, I'm just kidding. But there's a lot of Lees in the family. What is Jared's grandma's name? I, oh, um, Carol. And I don't know the other one's name. I know he's got an aunt that I do know. But I don't know what his other grandma's name is. I can't remember. Denise is a good name, Denise says. I like Denise. Denise is nice. Amanda Lee. Hmm, that might be an option. Lee was people with both sides' daughter's name, Ashley. Okay. Stephanie Lee. It, Jean, I'm going to give you a hint. It won't be Stephanie because I step, Haley has a sister named Stephanie. My stepdaughter's name is Stephanie. My mom's name is Karen. You guys are... You guys are really picking me for clues, right? So that you don't put down any of those things because you know she's not going to name her after somebody else in the family with the same name because we don't really do that. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. I've got work to do. I have a graphic to put up. And Ashley's ex-husband's name is Lee. So it was Lee and Ashley. Nice. <laughs> Somebody just asked what my middle name was. Debbie, you shouldn't ask questions like that. So, no, I'm teasing. My middle name, are you ready for it? Because it's weird. Ruane. R-U-A-N-E. My middle name is Ruane, and I was named after my mom's college roommate. And they were good, good, good friends. And then they lost touch for many, many, many years. And guess what brought them back together? Facebook and um, Ruane is who I was named after and she's the lady that went with me and my mom up to Door County last year on our little driving Miss Daisy trip. <laughs> That's what I felt like I was driving Miss Daisy. They sat in the back and I drove them all over the island. <laughs> it was really cute. Anyways, oh look there, Catherine works, with, she worked with a Ruane. Yeah, it's a really different name, right? R-U-A-N-E. Oh, and Ashley's middle name is Ruane. Do you say it like that? Or do you say it Ryan? Or is it Ruane, Ashley? So I've never heard of anybody, and everybody's always made fun of my middle name, so that's why I'm like, I have a weird middle name. But I'm named after my mom's college roommate. And they are now very, very good friends again, so it's really cute. They um, um, really enjoy each other's company. So, okay. I am going to let you go. I'm going to do the graphics for the great Weedly prediction. What are we going to call it? I need something funny. Haley, text me a funny name for the prediction. But it's got to have Weedly in it. And then I'll get the graphic made and we'll get that loaded so you can do your guessing for fabulous prizes. Yeah, I don't know. They might be just rhinestones. But those are fabulous, right? <laughs> I don't know what I'll be giving away. Something fun. You know that. It has to be fun. Okay. Facebook Live tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed Kathy Miller's card. I love this design. I love this that it's a super easy fun fold. And I'm glad that I have a man card that I can use for just about anything. So, have yourselves a wonderful Tuesday. And I will see you back here. Oh, I have to tell you guys. I have a blog hop. Ah, I almost forgot. I have a blog hop tomorrow. We are going to be using the Ornate Garden Suite. You do not want to miss it. It will be on my blog, www.astampabub.com. And um, I haven't made that video yet or even started that. So it's probably going to be a pretty late night tonight. 
Oh, I have a bunch of project sheets due too because it's the last day of the month. So I have a lot of work to do. But um, I will make sure that I put the link here on Facebook so everybody can take a look at it and watch it. It's really fun. But look at, look at, I put these all together today or maybe last night. I don't remember. But anyways, this set of framelits. These are two sets of framelits. I love, 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 love the edgelets. And of course, I love, love, love all of these. And these are all layers. Like that's all dyes. You're going to want to see this. This starts tomorrow. Ornate Garden Bundle is available to purchase tomorrow, April 1st. And today is the last day of celebration. If you missed my lecture when we first came on today, don't forget it's the last day of celebration. If you need to order anything and you don't, Ashley, I know I'm a procrastinator. We've talked about that. If you... um need to order anything and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I will be happy to earn your business. I always appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me paying my bills. And yeah, I think that's all I got for today. I've kept you long enough. I need to get my butt in gear and get all this work done that I thought I was in pretty good shape for, but I'm really not. And that's usually the story of my life. Oh well. Have a... Now, Sue... You have to put this under the graphic that I'm going to make on my Facebook page so that we have everything in one place. And that was a really good guess. Haley, <laughs> who said that? Deb says, Haley, can I buy a vowel? I love that. That is funny. All right. I'm going to let you go so I can get to work. I will um, have the replay available of this Facebook Live also in just a few minutes. Then I will pull it into YouTube so my YouTubers can watch it. And then I'll post it on my blog so my blog followers can watch it. So many platforms. Thanks, you guys, so much. I really appreciate your um, spending your evening with me. I want to wish you well. I also want to give a shout out to all of our essential workers. Those of you that are still going to work every day. Those of you that especially work in the medical profession because you're being exposed to a lot of germy things right now. Our doctors, our nurses, all the support staff at our medical facilities. Um, how about a shout out for our truck drivers? My dad was a truck driver. My mom was a truck driver too. Our nursing home um, employees, our grocery store clerks, our gas station clerks, nobody big or small do I want to miss. Thank you for keeping things going so that we can still go to the store, we can still get gas, we can still go to the doctor if we need to. Stay safe and stay home. I want to see you all back here tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.